right now. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Philip Mena. Glad you could be with us. I'm Francis Rivera. A new subversion of the Omicron variant has been detected in at least 40 countries, including the United States. Scientists are calling. Second NYPD officer has died just days after he was critically injured in a shooting. 27 year old Willard at the Maryland Capitol to show their support for new legislation that would. And our thanks to Darcy Spencer for that report. And our thanks to Tom Costello for that report. NBC meteorologist Janessa Webb is tracking wind chill alerts from the Dakotas to Ohio and then behind that a snowstorm for a lot of us. Janessa, good morning. Because we do have a snowstorm on the way. We'll talk about that forecast coming up. Mm, enjoy it while we can. All right, Janessa, thank you. Starbucks is giving customers a new drink to boost their energy, but it's not coffee. The company really is this year's sole inductee to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Why the other big names continue to be shut out and a slow Leaving the news a likely tragedy off the coast of Florida, where 39 people are missing after their boat capsized. A bill that would limit discussions of sexual orientation or gender identity in Florida schools at the primary grade level. It's being denied. The Baseball Writers Association of America has spoken, and only one big name is headed into the Hall of Fame. David Ortiz. Flying cars in movies like Back to the Future and Harry Potter, but could they be coming to skies near you? The really, really cool too, almost fake, but that's a real deal. It is, and uh, not going to be among the first on it though, but one of these days, maybe. Uh, after a quick break, Elton John still recover gun bust goes wrong in Florida. Two suspects pulled a gun, and we'll be right back. Hey, Janessa, thanks. Up next, meet the six-year-old who doesn't like cancer. This one gets our stamp of approval. A special little boy. Yes, it is, Jacob. Yeah. Our thanks to Tom Yamas for that report. That is a full-on delivery. Yeah. Not on time, but even a quick, <laughs> fast delivery of hope and joy and yeah. all sense of the world. I love everything about that. We're grateful for Jacob's health and, yeah. and his new ride. That's pretty cool. He's able to deliver it. Look like a one of a kind. No one other kid in his neighborhood is going to have something like that. They are going to have extra, extra special, you know, days mm -hmm. and years to come with that. Thanks for starting your hump day with Early Today. I'm Francis Rivera. And I'm Philip Mena. Good morning. I'm Francis Rivera. And I'm Philip Mena. We begin with the urgent efforts to pull Eastern Europe back from the brink of war. General Mark Miller in crisis. We're joined now live by NBC's Bree Jackson. Bree, good morning. So, what have we heard from President Biden? Good morning, Philip. Daily COVID related deaths in 11 months, according to Johns Hopkins University. More than 2,100. And our thanks to Allison Barber for that report. Breaking the party over for British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The so-called Partygate scandal has Chapman Bell and Chapman. Good morning. Partygate has created a firestorm for the Prime Minister. Will he survive this Downing Street debacle? Controversy while dealing with the business of hand of running the country. Chapman, thank you. History made in the NHL. There's a new Iron Man on the ice. Philadelphia Flyers defenseman. Talking about wind chills in the negative 45 degree range. NBC meteorologist Janessa Webb is tracking those alerts for us. Good morning, Janessa. Uh, that's going to be important to hear. Thank you, Janessa. Now to your Wednesday quick hits. Sean Payton shocked the NFL. Off Leading the news, the once prominent attorney Michael Avenatti says he had a breakdown over strategy with his own lawyers. Now he'll be representing theorist Alex Jones claims he pleaded the fifth nearly a hundred times when he was deposed by the House January 6th committee. The fifth amendment big name was voted in the baseball's Hall of Fame. Red Sox legend David Ortiz. Mm -hmm. Blinding lights next. It's a new dawn for the weekend. Who was born with a form of dwarfism has called out Disney's live action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. During a recent appearance, you know, and everything and all the diversity and inclusion that we're including in movies and especially in Disney's world, but they got to pay attention to that too. You can't argue with the logic there. All right, is another, yet another weekend winter storm brewing. Well, Janessa has the answer for us. That's up next. And still ahead, why gun owners coast, guys. All right, Janessa, thank you. A fly in today's top stories, a second NYPD officer has died just days after he was critically injured in a shooting. 27 days on the brink of becoming the first U.S. city to require liability insurance for gun owners in the event there. More businesses are joining the push for the passage of the Equality Act, which is a measure. In flying cars and movies like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Back to the Future. But could the real thing be coming to the skies near you? We are going to start to see those more and more on the roads. Mm -hmm. All right, Broadway's longest running musical just got even more iconic.
It is a must-see. It's something we ask of you, Broadway, more diversity, and we're getting it. Thanks for kicking off your day with Early Today. I'm Philip Mena. And I'm Francis Rivera. This starts right now. Good morning. I'm Philip Mena. I'm glad you're with us. I'm Francis Rivera. A new subversion of the Omicron variant has been detected in at least 40 countries, including the United States. Scientists are called setback in the supply chain crunch. The government is warning that a global shortage is the party over for British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The so-called party gate Chapman Bell. Chapman party gate has created a firestorm for the prime minister. So will he survive this Downing Street debacle? All right, let's turn now to today's weather. NBC meteorologist Janessa Webb is tracking some dangerous wind chills, including one that is 45 degrees below zero. Good morning, Janessa. System on the way. We'll talk about that forecast coming up. We'll be sure to do that. Janessa, thank you. The Baseball Writers Association of America has spoken, and only one big name is headed into the Hall of Fame. Whereas Alex Jones pleaded the fifth over 100 times in talking to the January 6th investigating committee. But that's not all. And call him. Leading the news, a bill that would limit discussions of sexual orientation or gender identity in Florida schools at the primary grade levels is making its way. Theorist Alex Jones claims he pleaded the fifth nearly 100 times when he was deposed by the January 6th committee in the House. The Fifth Amendment grant. History made in the NHL. There is a new Iron Man on the ice. It is. Star and the attorney. Why Michael Avenatti could be pitted against. Investors are keeping a close eye on the Fed later today as they reveal more about the expected interest rate hikes starting in March and beyond. Here to read the tea leaves for us is CNBC's Karen Cho. Good morning, Karen. Mm, yes, she was an icon. I can see why it's fetching all that money. All right, Karen, thank you. There is another winter storm brewing just in time for your weekend. We'll check in with Janessa for those details. And a bizarre murder. Janessa, coming up, Disney does damage control. At in today's top stories, a second NYPD officer has died just days after he was critically injured in a shooting. 27-year-old Will... Police have arrested a 26-year-old man considered a person of interest in his father's death. Right. Attorney Michael Avenatti says he had a breakdown over strategy with his own lawyers. Now he will, he will be representing himself. Zay is on the brink of becoming the first U.S. city to require liability insurance for gun owners in the event there was... ...who was born with a form of dwarfism has called out Disney's live-action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. During a recent... ...fans of the hit series The Office finally getting a highly anticipated reunion. Steve Carell... Ooh, screen. You got that chemistry, you gotta do even more. Uh, yep. started. Thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Philip Mena. And I'm Francis Rivera. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Be safe out there.